Now, Esther, it will surprise precisely no one that couples have differing views on money. Why are the Sussexes in the news about this precise issue? So apparently the Sussexes have different approaches to, to what to do with their money. So Prince Harry, after releasing uh, the, the bombshell uh, sort of autobiography earlier this year, Spare, um, now he wants to focus more on family and charity work and he wants to funnel a lot of the couple's money um, towards that. I, I think we both know that they have made a lot of money um, given their shenanigans over the last two years. But apparently uh, Meghan wants to actually uh, focus on building up her brand. So there have been rumours that she could actually uh, post... Uh, uh, or do sponsored posts on Instagram, which is something that influencers do. I wouldn't know because I'm not one of them. But apparently she could make up to a million dollars a post um, by just sponsoring um, any sort of brand uh, that's that's willing to have her as a spokesperson. So it's going to be quite an interesting dynamic to, to navigate. Obviously, uh, Prince Harry's has state, stated that his focus is more on charity work and public service and focusing on his family. Um, but obviously their, their brands are diverging as Meghan wants to kind of uh, rebuild her own brand brand as well and sort of image in the public life. So it'll be quite an interesting approach. Um, I suspect they spend a good m amount of their money on uh, security. So whatever spare change that they have, they should probably use wisely because I don't think the royal family are very interested in bringing them back into the fold. Here, here. Now, a fun one to finish with, uh, a commentator this week claimed that Will and Kate's country house is haunted. Now, noting, of course, that this is a show with a lot of royal commentary, does royal commentary has no bounds, does it, Esther? It does not. Uh, so apparently this goes back to uh, someone who was born at Anmer Hall uh, in, in Norfolk, uh, Henry Walpole. He was born in 1558 and he uh, was you know, a renowned Catholic. He was uh, responsible for building a, a local Catholic school in Norfolk uh, and he was uh, killed. He was assassinated um, some 40 years after his birth for not affirming that Queen Elizabeth I was the, in, indeed um, the head of the church. Um, in, the in 1970, he was canonised by the, the Catholic Church and apparently his, his ghost now resides in uh, the Prince and Princess of Wales's residence in Norfolk. So I, I suspect this, this story doesn't have much to it because I don't think his ghost would hang around there. I don't think he'd be very welcome. It looks like a full house. Uh, <laughs> Prince and, uh, the Prince and Princess of Wales have three children, so it's a, it's a party of five. If I was a ghost, I think I'd find someone a bit more peaceful. But... Like you said, royal commentary knows no bounds and the house could indeed be haunted. Who knows? It could be. And even if it's not true, it's an absolutely fabulous yarn. Esther Kraku, as always, thank you so much for joining us.